Now that we've learned how to manipulate existing subtitles, let's take a look at how to create subtitles from scratch. And we'll start with a common use case, creating subtitles without text, just time codes, for somebody else to fill in with a transcription or translation. Let's start by reviewing the three ways we can manipulate a subtitle's cues. The first one is using the mouse to click and drag the edges of each subtitle. The second is nudging the cues frame by frame using the keyboard. On the numpad, we use numpad plus and numpad minus to adjust the in cues, shift numpad plus and shift numpad minus to adjust the out cues, and we add control to any of these shortcuts to affect chain subtitles. On the main keyboard, using the US layout, we type control semicolon and control apostrophe to adjust the in cues, control period and control slash to adjust the out cues, and these shortcuts always affect chain subtitles. The third is setting the cues to the current video position. On the numpad, we set the in cues with numpad enter, we set the out cues with numpad insert, and we set the out cue of one subtitle and the in cue of the next with numpad delete. On the main keyboard, using the United States layout, we set the in cues with alt right bracket, we set the out cues with alt p, and we set the out cue of one subtitle and the in cue of the next with alt left bracket. Now, we're going to talk a lot about this last group of shortcuts in this lesson, and it's going to get a little tiresome to say numpad enter or alt right bracket all the time. So to make things simpler, we'll refer to these shortcuts by their relative position, from left to right. We'll call them 1, 2, and 3. Take a look. Shortcut 1 sets the out cue. That's numpad insert or alt p. Shortcut 2 sets the in cue and the out cue of adjacent subtitles. That's numpad delete or alt left bracket. Shortcut 3 sets the in cue. That's numpad enter or alt right bracket. So when I'm queuing the subtitles in this lesson and I say 1, 2, or 3, I'm talking about these shortcuts. I'll open the EZT project for this lesson. The video is already loaded, but there are no subtitles. There's just this subtitle 1, which is empty. It has no text and no time code. If we press page down, we can create new empty subtitles. That happens whenever we press page down after the last subtitle. By the way, on easy titles you can have empty subtitles and they don't go away when you close the program. You can have subtitles with only text and no time codes. You can have subtitles with only time codes and no text. You can even have subtitles with just the out cue or just the in cue. You might not be able to export them like that, but inside the easy t file, you're safe. That means it's easy titles that adjust to your working style, not the other way around. Some people like to time the subtitles and then write the text. You can do that. Some people like to write the subtitles and then time them. That's also possible. And sometimes you just need to time the subtitles and not write any text. That's what we're going to do now. Let's jump to the beginning of the video, Alt Home. I'll also jump to the first subtitle, Control Page Up. I'll try to time the video in real time. As I do that, I'll just refer to the shortcuts as 1, 2, and 3, like we agreed. Here's the diagram again if you want to take a look. All right, so let's start queuing this video segment. The first thing we want to do is check our waveform, because this is a louder scene, and so we might want to nudge this down a bit. Here. Now we can see all the little fluctuations that will help us find the dialogue. Good breaks. I missed this cue because here the waveform is too narrow, so we nudge it up a little. And now we can see the waveform and we can see the beginning of each line. So let's cue this part. We're using 3, 2, 1 to represent the shortcuts. 3, breaks. The hell are you 2, doing? I'm trying to 2, get right. Rolling 2, in front of my car? I have an 2, emergency. What emergency? 2, I have a plane 2, to catch. A plane? 2, about 5 2, miles up the road. 2, and here I made a mistake, because I thought there might be a new line here, but there isn't. But that's okay, I don't have to undo, because I can just move this last subtitle anywhere I want. So for example, if I hit 3 here, it moves over here. 3, okay, 1. Okay, we seem to be done with this part. Let's continue. Three, okay. <laughs> one. Fuck. 
Okay, here we missed the queue, and it's a perfect opportunity to show you another feature that we have here with the timeline, which is this. Audiograph, use speech filter. Now you can see that Easy Titles filters out the frequencies that aren't usually used with the human voice. Now, if we adjust the waveform, we see the beginning of his line here. Check it out. Fuck. Okay, let's time this. Three, one. You missed the plane? Three, one. Do you need a Three, back? one. Yes, please. Three, one. What Three, two, one, done. three. Two. One. And here there's no dialogue, so I can just delete this. Control Alt Backspace. Now, before I check our work, let's just take a look at one last feature that you can use while you're queuing. Here we're back on subtitle one, and notice how all of my cues here are late. Good breaks. The hell are you? This is about five frames late. What are you doing? I'm trying to hit. This is about five frames, two, four, five. To ride. Rolling in front of my car? I have an emergency. What emergency? I have a plane to catch. A plane? All of them are about four or five frames late, which is natural because we have a reaction time. We hear the line and then we react by cueing it. What we can do is actually compensate for that delay. I can go here and edit, preferences, cues. And here I have reaction time. Since all of my delays were about 4 or 5 frames, I can adjust it accordingly. Now, I'm not going to use this, because if I try it again, it's not going to work, because now I know where all the lines are, so my reaction time is going to have the opposite effect. But you can experiment with this setting and see if it works for you. One thing that should be noted, however, is that this only works with the video rolling. If you have the video paused and then you cue something, it's always going to cue at that exact point of the video. I'm going to cancel because I'm not going to use the setting. And now let's fix our cues. Let's start at 1. Here I think I timed it at the right spot. Good breaks. The hell? Here it's a little late. I'm going to use the cue adjustment shortcuts that we saw in the previous lesson, which are, in this case, Control plus minus in the numpad, or Control semicolon, Control apostrophe on the main keyboard. Here we go. Control minus or semicolon. And now it's correct. I'm going to do this with the other subtitles. Here I think these subtitles are too short. What I can do is join them. I think we can have a structure where we have one subtitle for each pair of lines, since this is a very back and forth kind of dialogue. I'm trying to hitch a ride. Rolling in front of my car? I have an emergency. So here, for example, we can join them. Control Alt equals. Rolling in front of my car? I have an emergency. What emergency? I have a plane to catch. Here I can just join these two. What emergency? I have a plane to catch. A plane? Here I can pull it back. A, a plane? About five miles up the road. Here I'm going to join these two as well. Let's check. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to hitch a ride. Wrong. I think I can join these two as well. Let's check. Good breaks. What the hell are you doing? I think this one is too long. Good breaks. I can end it around here. E1. Good breaks. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to hitch a ride. Rolling in front of my car? I have an emergency. What emergency? I have a plane to catch. A plane? About five miles up the road. Okay, hop. This is too late. Okay, hop in. One. Then we skip over to the next one. Step on it. This is too late. Step on it. Okay. <laughs> and then... Fuck! You missed the plane? This is too late. I'll adjust it again. You missed the plane? One. Do you need Three. a ride back? Yes, please. Nudge it back. Yes, please. One. Here we can see that this is too late, so I can just... Pull it back here. What was your name? I'm Bobby. Bobby. I'm back. Here I can see the dialogue better. 
Bobby. You're a gem. I think Bobby, you're a gem can be one subtitle. Bobby, you're a gem. Thanks. And we split it here at thanks. Control, Alt, Enter. Thanks. And we're done. Now, since we're talking about exporting a template for somebody else to use, there's a precaution we have to take regarding empty subtitles. Other subtitling software might not be able to process subtitles with no text. For example, an SRT file with no text might be unreadable. In those cases, a common technique is to fill the subtitles with an arbitrary symbol, like an at sign, a hashtag, or an asterisk. You can do that manually, of course, it shouldn't take long, but we're going to show you a quicker way to do that. The only condition is that you do this before you start queuing the subtitles. I'll start with an empty project again. Suppose I want to fill the subtitles with one at sign, then two at signs, then one, then two, and so on. I'll create the first subtitles with at and at at. First, I'm going to press page down. Now I have two subtitles. And page up, I have to click here. At and then at at. Now I'm going to go to the preview list and then, holding shift, I'll select the first, then the second. You'll see this green outline, which means we have marked the subtitles. Now I right click, copy subtitles, copy marked subtitles, OK. Right click again on the preview list, paste subtitles, whole subtitles, append subtitles because we want to append them at the end. OK. Now I have four. I can take these four subtitles, which are already marked, and do the process again. Copy subtitles, copy marked subtitles, paste subtitles, same settings. Okay, now I have eight. I can do that again. Copy subtitles, copy marked subtitles, right click, paste, okay. Now I have 16, and then 32, 64, and as many as I need. To unmark the subtitles, right click, then unmark all, and then yes. And then we can time the subtitles as before. Go back here to subtitle one, and I can time them as I please. Your assignment for this lesson is to generate an empty template. You can leave the text empty or fill it with symbols. Your call.